Excel, Word, PowerPoint, we know these, but there are actually more Microsoft tools that can help your personal productivity in both work and life. Today, I wanted to signpost a few of them that you may not know and also explore what they do for your productivity. So folks, if you're interested in getting three new tools in your inbox every single week, I'm gonna send them to you. And they're ones that I think are new and noteworthy. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up to the newsletter below and discover three new tools every week on with the video. So welcome, my name is Francesco D'Alessio. If you're new here to the channel, please do subscribe. We're Tool Finder, the best place to find tools and resources. So if you did want to jump over to toolfinder.co, you can explore plenty more options and we have a brand new way to find tools. So check that out in the link in the description. So Microsoft has so many different tools, it's crazy. And there are a few that you may not know about, but we're going to cover three core sections. We're gonna look at task management and project management, note-taking and collaboration, and then finally, finish off with ways that can enhance your productivity with AI and writing. So we're gonna highlight eight tools and talk through them now. You can always use the timestamps if you already know the tool that we're talking about. So for task and project management, the first one on our list is Microsoft Lists. Now this one is a strange one because not many people know about it, but it's a sort of like a way for you to build a database with some of the characteristics that you need. So whether you're creating a list for your projects, your finances, the books you're reading at the moment, this is a great way to get started. And you can access Microsoft Lists on a personal account with Microsoft. You don't have to have a paid subscription, which makes it a free way to start organizing your lists. Now, it isn't the most attractive looking one, but it will help you to start organizing and managing those database type things right away. And it is free as well, which a lot of people do like as part of the experience. They have mobile apps as well, which make it super accessible to get started. So the number two tool is Microsoft Planner. And this one is a Kanban based task management system. And it's really excelling in the last year. Many people have started to use it as a way to project manage and save a bunch of time organizing their tasks in Kanban. If you're somebody that works in a Microsoft team and you want to be able to take advantage of a Kanban style board, a little bit like Trello, then this app is good for you. And it also helps you to do and see all of the tasks that you need to work on as well. Number three is an incredibly well-known one now. It's called Microsoft To-Do. It used to be called Wunderlist, which was a popular to-do list app, but now it serves as a free to-do list experience for many, many people. What people typically like to use it for is a personal to-do list with other shared individuals. You can create and collaborate on lists that you build together, but people really like the Microsoft Outlook sync ability, which allows you to flag an email in Microsoft Outlook and add it as a task inside of your Microsoft to-do account, which is a great time saver if you're somebody looking to save emails as tasks to manage later. And this one is free, accessible to anyone, even with a personal Microsoft account too. Now, diving into the note-taking and collaboration, there are a few tools that you can use straight away. The first one is Microsoft OneNote. It's a pretty well-known app and is probably one of the most downloaded note-taking apps in the world. And it does a good job. It has some great sketch abilities if you have a Microsoft Touch device, but it also has some powerful ways to organize your notes, as well as more recently, introducing the abilities with Copilot on the right-hand side. This is a great way to enhance your experience and one that you can use to formulate notes and use generative AI to produce and research elements outside of the note, which can be incredibly helpful, not just for students, academics, but also business individuals taking notes and bringing them into meetings. They've also enhanced the way that you can use OneNote inside of things like Microsoft Teams and other such applications. Number five is Microsoft Loop. If you've not heard of Microsoft Loop, I don't know where you've been. I'm joking, it's actually fairly new in the space. It's only been out for three or four years now, but the Loop experience is designed to help be a bridge between other apps. So for example, if you're in Teams, you could paste a Microsoft Loop component and start working on it across all of those different elements. So for example, somebody could be working on a Loop component in a Teams message, but also be in loop editing it at the same time. And you'll be able to see that in real time, sort of like a fluid experience that lives live in real time, which is an incredibly useful way to access and manage databases and have that information really, uh, obviously, 
dead live, which is brilliant. So this is a great collaboration tool. You can create pages in there. You can create those loop components that I mentioned. You can also create workspaces, meaning you can add tasks, add documents, and build them out and collaborate with your team members as well. This is part of larger Microsoft plans, but largely a lot of people are starting to use this as a way to bridge between using Microsoft Teams and other applications. So Microsoft Whiteboard is another experience that is much more designed for students, but can also be used in a wide range of collaborative abilities. You can use it with a pen to be able to visualize some of your ideas and it's a great way to bring to life some of your concepts. Here's some example of how it works and whiteboard is one of the most popular ways to visually represent yourself. Obviously OneNote does have some sketch abilities. This, this goes a lot further in terms of what you can do collaboratively with other people. Now finally let's talk about AI and writing assistance and the first app on our list is actually called Microsoft Copilot. You've probably heard of it because it comes with Word, Excel and many more now but it actually lives as its own separate application which is a downloadable app which is incredibly valuable for personal productivity. You can use it even without signing in to do things like upload files, analyze them, even upload images as well and get feedback on them. Or maybe even just chat with the co-pilot across a day. It's got some great talk abilities and it's very fast and fluid as I believe it still uses ChatGPT as its basis as well which makes it a free accessible one with the backing of Microsoft, which is great news. Signing into your Microsoft account will give you additional abilities and you can also continue with Apple if you're using an iOS device too. But that's another consistent one to use across your day, even for daily productivity, whether it's managing your groceries or getting things done at work. And finally, if you're looking for a Grammarly alternative, there's actually something called Microsoft Editor, which is a Chrome or Edge plugin, which will allow you to get feedback on your grammar. This is great for providing feedback, but there are also additional abilities to improve your suggestions and improve your writing largely. The application is free to use, but there are things that are part of the Microsoft packages, which you may not know, and you could start connecting it with your Microsoft account to improve things like your emails and Outlook and much, much more. So those are some lesser known Microsoft apps and largely can be a great way to boost your personal and work productivity. I've included a link to all of them in the link in description if you're interested in expanding your thoughts on them and naturally using them for your daily productivity. But I'd love to see which ones you use in the comments for your daily management of stuff. So feel free to share them below. Thanks very much folks. Please do check out toolfinder.co if you're interested in exploring hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tools and resources for work. Thanks very much and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio. Thank you.